When the first men landed on the moon, they danced. But they also took some very interesting pictures of the lunar surface. You can see amazing details of the surrounding surface of the moon. But are we able to see this place through a telescope? We are going to try to find out using just my backyard telescope and the internet. According to Google, the Apollo 11 landing site is near the Moltke crater. So, let's point our telescope at it and see if we can find the crater. Unfortunately, it's really not that simple. The Moltke crater is only six and a half kilometers wide. And although that sounds big, it's pretty small for most amateur telescopes. But I'm going to try it anyway. We point a large telescope at it and with the help of a camera, we will hopefully take some sharp pictures and see if we can discover that little crater. It's starting to get dark outside, so let's take a look at the moon through the telescope. Just look at how beautiful that is. I took some images, and this one turned out to be the best. Let's see if we can see the Moltke crater. Um, we have a small problem. The Moltke crater is not visible. The crater should be around here, but the shadow just ruined our chances of capturing it. It's been a few weeks, but it's almost a full moon. Let's take some pictures tonight and see how they turn out. The live view looks very promising. After some quick adjustments in Photoshop, I came up with this image. I think it's possible to see the Moltke crater. Let's zoom in, shall we? I lined my picture up with a picture of the Moltke crater I found online, and it looks like we've captured it. Now we just have to find the Apollo 11 landing site. For that, I zoomed in even further and I lined up another image to see the exact landing spot of Apollo 11. We found it. This is the Apollo 11 landing site, photographed from my backyard. How amazing. So although it's not easy, it is possible to see the landing site. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video.